Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the life cycle of Ascomycotina. And example for this is Pyronema amphidolis. And in this, it has male sex organ and female sex organ. Male sex organ is called as Antheridium, and female sex organ is called as Ascogonium. And from the male sex organ, the male nuclei enters into the female sex organ. It through a structure called as Trichogyne. And uh, after entering into the female ascogonium here the plasmogamy takes place but there is no but the karyogamy is does not takes place here plasmogamy means fusion of cytoplasm or phytoplasm and uh, protoplasm for, sorry protoplasm and then later the nuclei male nuclei and female nuclei starts pairing and results in the formation of a dicaryon dicaryon means di means two Carion means nucleus. Dicarion is formed, and in the opposite to it, the swellings or papillae arise in the ascogonium, and then these papillae will elongate and to produce the ascogonious hyphae, and this dicarion will undergo conjugate division or mitot mitotic division to produce to another two nuclei. And this ascogonium hyphae will be elongated and produces cells. As the septation takes place and produces the cells, and this ascogonium hyphae has the uh, penultimate cell. Last cell is uninucleated, and all other cells are binucleated. The penultimate cell is called as the crozier cell or hook cell, which look like a hook. Hook means a carol-like structure. So. It is called as a hook cell or a crozier cell, and then this crozier cell it undergoes the conjugate division or mitotic division and produces the four nuclei, and four nuclei undergoes septation, and uh, ultimate cell it is uninucleated, and then penultimate cell it is binucleated or dicaryonic state, and then antipenultimate cell. This penultimate cell it is also called as a crook cell. And this crook cell further developed into the ascogonous ascus mother cell, ascus mother cell, and in this ascus mother cell, karyogamy takes place. At initial stage, plasmogamy, and then the final stage, the karyogamy takes place. In the phyto, uh, plasmogamy stage, there protoplasm fusion, and in karyogamy, the fusion of nucleus takes place, and this results into haploid cell. Then immediately after the haploid cell, it undergoes the meiosis to produce four cells, four nuclei. This four nuclei, and then under again it undergoes into mitotic division to produce eight cells, and then these eight cells are matured into ascospores. This septa a free nu free. Nuclear and cell wall formation, free cell wall formation takes place and results into the ascospores. Ascospore and this hyphae ascus mother cell will form into the ascus. And these are uh, another extra excess nu excess protoplasm is called as the epiplasm. This epiplasm will feed the ascospores, and this results into the formation of the ascoma or ascocorp. And in the meiosis, it is also called as the ascosporogenesis, as it is results in the formation of ascospores. So it is called as ascospores sporogenesis. And uh, this developing of as or the spores ascospores, it is a free cell for cell formation, and results some of the excess new excess protoplasm. It is called as the epiplasm. Epiplasm is a nutritive, and uh, based on compatibility. It has the homothallic as uh, ascomycota fungi and heterothallic, and uh, under the homothallic example are aspergillus and powdery mildew, and under heterothallic it is the saccharomyces cerevisiae. Thank you.